This is the third in my series on making, writing, creating, painting, composing, whatever it is your art form is during a pandemic. And there's one subject which is really difficult to deal with and I'll be quite frank, I've had a go three times to make this video and I hope this time it works and the reason is the subject is one rarely talked about in the business of creating um, any works of art or whatever or writing uh, but is very germane important to everybody and it's to do with the relationship between their work and themselves and their significant other or others in other words to what extent does the fact of having another relationship like marriage or children or whatever it may be with people who clearly have rights to impose time on you how does that work with the work you you have to do with your writing and so on it, it, we all know or have heard of uh, creators who just gave up and Van Gogh is a good example as an artist um, Beethoven's another um, people who geniuses had created but they could not seem to sustain a relationship um, because uh, not at least when they were working uh, another one is Picasso that's less known because he had a lot of relationships but he liked to work alone so here's the question how do you produce your work and continue to produce your work even if it's over a day or a, a week a month or a year how do you do that and sustain a good relationship at the same time and quite frankly it is not easy and I think what happens is this that particularly with people who don't work regularly as writers or professional creators or whatever it may be those people um, who do it occasionally or may choose a time pandemic to have a go at something they've not done before those people cannot say to their partners this is really important because the partners are always going to say well yeah it may be important but actually you haven't done much yet have you you've never done it much and actually coming shopping this evening is important to me or um, um, sweeping their house out or whatever these are things that are important so the current imperative risen by the relationship makes it really difficult for you to say actually my work is important so the first step you've got to do is to believe that and uh, lots of people don't lots of people are very doubtful about their work they do they want reassurance um, they want to um, get other people to say how good it is they have a real need to um, have some kind of esteem um, from an external source which may be the very person who's least able and least willing to give it that is the person they uh, perhaps live with and are living with very intensively to, during a period of pandemic so here's how I do it because I do live with somebody successfully and I do write successfully so what's the secret for me as in other others of these videos I fully appreciate that my method may not be yours and the reason I do th these videos is because by showing you one way of doing it you may well find another that suits you it's a contrast it's a compare and contrast or you may say hey what William does really could work for me so really simple I regard my creativity um, the in my case the books I write like children and they are until they are complete and off my hands whether published online or published um, in print as as has been the case until relatively recently for all of my books I regard those as children who I need to protect my creativity as a child in the middle of the road with with four great double trucks with headlights bearing down on that child what am I going to do I am going to run forward I'm going to save it and I'm going to protect it with my life literally with my life that's how important your creativity needs to be with you why because if you do not if you fail to protect it and most people do if you fail to protect it I can assure you that as the years go by it becomes harder to protect as the years go by you will regret not having had a go even if what you write isn't in fact particularly good by I don't know external commercial standards it does not matter if you've not done it then that is in the back of your mind a kind of failure and you have as it were failed that child within you I personally think that many more people concede at a really high level if only they will try and the 
only way of doing it is by by actually negotiating with your significant others time in which you can work and here's the thing if you do that in my case it's it's first thing in the morning through till about two o'clock in the afternoon that's my if you like sacrosanct time uh, if you can do that then it's an incentive for you to use that time in the way that you really need to if you don't if you give away if you allow people to say oh do you want a cup of coffee no I don't want a cup of coffee or have you remember I don't want to remember anything I just want to work in that time if you allow them to impose in that time as many people want to um, because they want they have their own needs as well if you allow that to happen then to some extent your creative child is undermined not good um, and it's it's the recipe it's a recipe ultimately for continuing irritation self-doubt um, and, and a feeling of never quite having achieved what you can you can do it we all have ability to create we all every one of us whichever form we choose it doesn't have to be right it's writing for me but it can be anything you like uh, that's creative it'll be cooking or knitting or whatever but if you allow those around you um, to make you prioritize their time rather than your creative time it's a recipe for long-term disaster. So look at it that way. See your creativity as a child. As a child, you're going to protect with your life. Negotiate with those around you the time you need to do it and stick to it. Stick to it always. And you will end up having produced the thing you really, really need to produce. Whatever it is, however it is, whoever likes it or doesn't like it, you've done it. And that itself is fantastic amazing wonderful feeling to have done so good luck with that these are the only ways i can express this very difficult and complex area it's a child it's your child you're protecting it's called creativity you're going to do that and that is your major priority whatever the others may be give it time uh, give it your energy give it every negotiating skill you've got in the book to get the right relationships around you to accommodate your own really important need and do it.